A rapper is accused of stealing 3,000 credit cards to fund his tour. We're talking about Albert Hill, also known as Shred Gang Boogs, who you see here. Back in April of 2017, Hill tweeted, quote, at the end of the day, as long as the money right, I'm good. The tweet coming just six weeks before the would-be rap star was indicted on credit card fraud and identity theft charges. Now, the feds say the rapper had access to as much as $15 million in credit and was jet-setting across the country, promoting himself as the next big music act out of Detroit. Kevin Dietz joins us live from federal, the federal courthouse. And Kevin, walk us through how this was able to happen. Yeah, well, you know, for this guy buying expensive recording equipment and flying around for meetings in L.A. or New York with music execs, it was no problem because he had gone on the dark web and purchased all these credit cards. So all his expenses were really at your expense. This is Albert Hill. He wanted to be a rap star and needed a name. He chose Shred Gang Boogs. He also wanted to record and go on tour, but that takes money. So he got some, illegally. The feds say Albert Hill used 3,000 stolen credit cards to fund his fledging music career. Local Ford legal expert Keith Corbett. They are able to establish that this is a gentleman who decided that he was in a position to uh, take somebody else's identity and underwrite a burgeoning career as a rap star. According to federal documents, Hill used the stolen accounts to purchase expensive electronics, travel throughout the country to pursue his music career. And he wired money to himself. The feds say Hill was a member of Bang Gang Crew, who instead of dealing drugs in Detroit, deals in stolen credit cards. The losses to cardholders in the millions. Then they would brag on social media. The rival gangs will see that and they will become upset because they're not making enough money. And then there's crossfire. Albert Hill was shot in the face at one of his own concerts in Portage, Michigan. The feds say the violence associated with credit card and identity theft is getting out of control and must be dealt with harshly. When you see that, when you see that guy who looks like he's rich because he's made his money off of illicit, unlawful activities, you won't be seeing him too much longer. That's, that's the message. Hill's family wrote letters to the judge asking for leniency, saying that he is a good uh, sibling and that he has a lot of potential, especially in the music business. But the judge, he put the would-be rap star on ice for the next seven years, sentencing him to 84 months in prison. Kevin Dietz, Defenders.